Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. This is going to be my rendition of a 2017 Christmas party makeup look. I really wanted to get into my Natasha Denona holiday palette as well as some of my new highlighters. So I came up with this look to celebrate the Christmas spirit. <laughs> and I really hope that you enjoy the look and without further ado, let's just jump right in. I've already done my base to save some time in this video. I moisturized with my Aquasource by Biotherm. It's the gel form. And then on top of that, I put CC Cream by Clinique. For under my eyes, I have used my MAC Duo Correcting Stick with the Pale Salmon. And then to conceal, I used my Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. For my eyeliner today, I used my Pat McGrath Duo Ended Marker, and then on top of that, I put my e.l.f. Liquid Liner. For my eyebrows, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo, and to feather and set them in place, I used my Maybelline Brow Drama in Blonde. For setting powder, I used my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and to set everything in place, I used my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this is the base that we are now working with and we're just going to jump right into the eye look. This is last year's Lise Watche Holiday Collection eyeshadow palette and I have it in Isadora. And this really pretty white color at the end is what I'm going to begin with all across the lid. Now this year Natasha Denona released two holiday limited edition palettes. I have it in the shade Aries but there was also a shade called Joya that had more pinks and golds and really vibrant colors. But I think I was going to get the most use out of this one. So all across the lid I'm going to be applying the shade Nude. For this look, it was a huge decision between wanting to take the shade Bronze Red or take the shade Burnt Terracotta for the inner corner going up, but I think I have decided I'm going to take Burnt Terracotta and then on top of it on the, um, then on top of it on the inner corner I'm going to be applying another shadow. So let's just start with Burnt Terracotta and I'm taking it on a liner brush. And you're just going to apply it almost right into the crease but stopping before you hit almost like where the head of your brow stops. And just kind of blend out the end part with your finger. From my BH Cosmetics Galaxy palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Jupiter, which is kind of looks like to me a really nice Christmassy red shade. And we're going to be applying this on the inner corner of where we have started the brown terracotta and on a different liner brush. And 
What this is going to do is it's kind of going to create an ombre slash fading effect of this line. If you didn't want to use the Galaxy palette and have that brighter shade of red, then you most definitely could just stick to this one palette and end up using red bronze and doing the same effect and you can either mix and match whether you want the matte to be on the outside or the shimmer to be on the outside and the matte on the inside. So you can really play around with these palettes and mix and match the colors any way you like. I just kind of figured that I wanted a bolder red shade being that this is going to be a Christmas look. For the black eyeliner, I have lost a little bit of the blackness from it during the other shades. So I'm just going to be going in with my Tartlet palette and this is the shade Fashionista, which is their black. And I'm just going to be going over with a small liner brush just to add that intensity back to the top. For the under eye, I'm going to be going in with that shade that we put across the lid from the Isadora palette by Lee Swatche and just taking one of their little cosmetic sponges, I'm just going to add a little bit along the bottom just to brighten it up because you really want the focus to be your upper lid. And I'm just going to blend down the red a little bit. Just going to line my waterline with black. mascara I'm using the Falsies Push Up Angel. For eyelashes for this look I'm going to be taking the Baby Wispies by Ardell. I decided to go back to my classic eyelashes. Um, I played around a little bit with the faux mink ones in my last tutorial. Um, and I was not too impressed by the length of them and just how fake they looked. So I'm going to go back to my classics and I know that I can trust these to really look a little bit more um, put together on the lash. Bronzing, I am taking my ever trusted medium milk chocolate soleil by Too Faced. My blush choice was Dainty by MAC. I'm going to be trying out my new highlighter. This is the Nude Air by Dior and I have it in the shade 001. That's what it looks like on the inside. And we're just going to highlight everywhere that we need to. In one of my Ipsy bags, maybe the last year I would think, before I quit it, um, we did receive this Tease lipstick and it's this really nice bright red. So I'm going to apply that on and this will complete the Christmas look.
And there you have it. This is my Christmas makeup look for 2017. My rendition of something that's a little bit more out there and fun. So I really hope that you enjoyed this and it gave you some Christmas inspiration for your holiday looks. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.